What's up dudes and dudettes? This is Noel on PC and today, as you can tell, we're playing some KSP. I uh, I built a 747. Uh, tweak scale, you know, tweak scale is, oh, did I just say weird strut? Oh, look at all that weird strutting. That was, that looked really clean when I was building it. Look at them everywhere. That was so weird. Just like jutting out in random positions. They should be attached to two things, not spiking into the motor like that. The, those had nothing to do with the motor. All right, so I'll, I'll fix those later. Uh, by the time you get this in your Dropbox, it should be fixed. But again, this is tweak scale specific. I've tweaked a bunch of parts. Actually, you know what? I have kind of given up on tweak scale. I had a little project go, let's crash this fucker. I had a little project go awry where I built something with tweak scale and the part in particular that ended up, ended up being borky went back, reverted back to its original scale, but everything was still attached to it as if it was large. So it just, it just looked horrendous. There was just this tiny little piece floating around other bigger parts. It didn't happen to all the parts, just one part. No matter what I did, it was always like that. It, no matter how I tried to fix it, I couldn't retweak scale it. So I remember kind of thinking like, shit, that, that puts me off tweak scale right there. So I have a feeling like this craft might do it where boink, I'll just get a tiny wing. It'll look like a tiny wing floating probably right in the middle. Um, and it's going to ruin this craft. So I've kind of given up on tweak scale. I've used it here, but I won't be using it in any future projects. Uh oh. Whew. Okay, so the it closed. I'll have to set that timing right. The the open limit is going to have to be 100, I think. Let's just do that now. Why would you do that? Why would you open it? I didn't tell you to open it. Thank God it can just clip through those parts. Oh, thank God. Okay, I'll do that one later. I've got those awesome automatic bay doors that sort of open and then the landing gear comes out. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Had to put these on the outside for stability. Needed some wider wheels at the back there. I hope the scale looks good. I can't really tell. I didn't... I. I don't have dual monitors, my iPhone was dead, I didn't have anything to like go by. I just kind of built this thing by memory off the old craft using the new tweak scale wings. That's what kind of started it, was thinking like, oh, I could build a jumbo jet now that I could tweak scale up those wings. And it was like, damn, I gotta fix that 747. <laughs> that 747, the old 747 from the ICBM video was pretty hurting. You know, it was more about dropping the bomb. It wasn't anything about making that thing look like a real 747. I even got the little winglets on the end. Check that out. Skook em. Skook em. Um, I'm really worried that the second I try and get that landing gear out, that it's just going to self-destruct the back, hand, back end of the craft off or something. Something weird's going to happen right here. Something fucking's going to happen right here. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. Because the shit apple never falls far from the shit tree. This thing flies really well. Um, I was gonna say, if you like it, download it. I just don't think I'm gonna put this thing in the Dropbox. I don't think I'm gonna put anything that's like heavily modified. Only from now on, I think only stock vehicles are gonna end up in the, uh, in the Dropbox. So then anyone can download it. If anyone can't download it, it doesn't I don't I don't really think there's gonna be a point in the future in doing that. But you could easily just pause the video. Boink. Boink. And just rebuild it yourself. Boink. You're welcome. Boink. Oh. Boink. I really need some camera sound effects. Boop boof. Boop boof. Those awesome lights make that sound. Boop boof. We should, um, we should probably crash this fucker, shouldn't we? Do we want to crash it there? Or do we want to crash it there? I think we've crashed it, we've done enough crashing there. Let's try and put it down there. I think I have a button set up for the reverse engine. Let's see. Yep, okay. Oops, oops. We good? We're okay. Uh, yeah, I got a thing for the reverse. So as long as the landing gear actually comes down, we might be able to do this. Should we do it in first person? How are you guys? How are you guys doing? They're doing okay. That guy's mumbling to himself. They're doing okay. They're, no one's screaming. That's pretty good. I spoke too soon. Someone's screaming. 
is a seller. Is a is a seller. Is a is a is a seller. It's a fucking name. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What's going on? What's going on? Did I press one? Are we in reverse? We're not in reverse. What's going on? <laughs> okay, we're gonna die. We are most certainly gonna die. Um, I'm gonna put throttle back up. I'm gonna punch it because these engines are super strong, so they might be able to actually pull out of it. Kind of like we're opening up a solid booster rocket. Come on, throttle up. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Can I jettison fuel? Is there a way to jettison fuel? Is there a way to jettison fuel? God damn it, of course not. Okay, let's put the landing gear down. Folks, we're going to ask you to buckle your seatbelts. We are in an inverted death dive. We can take this time to... We've, we've unlocked the going right on the, the phone in front of you above your television. You can feel free to call a loved one. Um, thank you for choosing uh, Noel on PC Airways. We realize you have your choice of fictitious airways, and we thank you for choosing ours. <gasps> nope. I thought I had it for a second. <laughs> Uh, oh, if I had another 10,000 feet, I think I could get out of this. We're going to die. We're most certainly going to die. R.I.P. R.I.P. Killed with all 550 passengers on board. R.I.P. That's, that's where you got to... This is where you have to search, boys. Come search for survivors and wreckage and stuff. Fuck. Well, on that somber note, <laughs> we'll call this video here. Um, I will put it in a Dropbox because it's kind of cool looking. If you have Tweak Scale, feel free to download it. The link is in the description down below. Um, I think for the historical value of remembering this crash, I should put it in a Dropbox. So there you go, guys. I hope you like the video. Hope you comment. Hope you share. Hope you do all those things you guys do as YouTubers. And until next time, guys. Peace, love. Cheers.